those who are not friends of Pakistan cannot be your friend. The internal threat is more ambiguous and nebulous. It is so twisted and mingled in our internal edifice and structures that it is difficult to crystallize and therefore handle. In a sense, therefore, the internal threat is more fundamental and critical to our national security, especially when elements of the hybrid warfare are employed against Pakistan. You have to keep faith in the ideology of Pakistan, its ultimate destiny. You have to earnestly and jealously guard your vital national interests, aims and objectives. You have to partner with others to ensure that no infection or cancer permeates into the body of our nation. And if it does, ruthlessly and single-mindedly confronted and destroyed. Dear cadets, Pakistan has confronted terrorism squarely and boldly. The resilient nation of Pakistan and its brave armed forces have turned the tide and meaningfully stabilized the situation on our side of the border. Pakistan can neither be scapegoated for the failures of others, nor old and oft-repeated narratives obscure or undermine Pakistan's vital role and sacrifices in this regard. Pakistan is a leader in counter-terrorism effort, both globally and regionally, and will continue to play this role with due responsibility and national resolve. Dear cadets, you will be tested in this effort. I urge you to uphold the blood of those who have passed up the same stairs before you and proactively engage in these operations and missions to ensure that the hard-earned peace is consolidated and fully established. We owe this to our nation, our mothers, our sisters, our elders, and our children. Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan lives in an environment of global power contestation and regional realignments. We want to live in and maintain peace and stability, not only in our own country, but in the region and beyond. Pakistan is a core element of goodness, and Pakistan armed forces are forces for good. Pakistan is fully alive to the threats and challenges that are being posed to its national security and defense. The world's largest acquisition of arms, including the latest deal to get S-400, coupled with operationalization of dangerous doctrines like the Cold Start, are destabilizing the security environment. Increased propensity to flavor and favor kinetic operations in a nuclearized environment are dangerous and absurd. Let sanity prevail. Let there be no doubt about the will and resolve of the Pakistani nations and its armed forces to maintain peace and deter and defend against any threat with surgical precision and professional excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan will continue to stand by our Kashmiri brothers in their rightful cause for freedom, justice, and the right for self-determination. We always have and will continue to put in our resolute moral, political, and diplomatic efforts to find a solution to this enduring conflict as per UN resolutions. I term Kashmir as the greatest moral crisis of South Asia. We will leave no stone unturned to bring into light the plight of the innocent Kashmiris and expose the perpetuators who have resorted to a policy of oppression, suppression, indiscriminate use of brutal force, and have systematically violated the fundamental human rights. In Afghanistan, Pakistan strongly believes that there is no military solution to the 17-year-old war. A reconciliation process is the only way to achieve sustained and durable peace in Afghanistan. Pakistan seeks a closure to the Afghan conflict and is playing and will continue to play a meaningful role. Towards this end, it will partner with all in this common cause and objective. However, non-contiguous powers have no regional role in Afghanistan. These artificial implants are alien to the natural, historical, social, and religious construct of our re region. Hopefully, Pakistan and Afghanistan will be able to achieve bilateral peace and prosperity, ushering a new era of growth and development in our region. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan has been engaged with the U.S. to energize its long and established relationship. We would like to reinforce this. Our relations with Russia are gaining strength in their scale and scope. And finally, but most importantly, our all-weather friend and iron brother, China, remains our trusted brother and friend. Pakistan believes that the potential of its location and relevance will provide it the meaningful role which will contribute towards regional peace and security duly interfaced with global peace and security. In the end, I once again congratulate all of you on this auspicious day. I also congratulate the Pakistan Military Academy for the conduct of this spectacular parade. May Allah be your guide and protector. Ameen. Pakistan Armed Forces, Zindabad. Pakistan, Zindabad. Pakistan,